Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the plot. It is May Bank Holiday weekend. It's the Sunday. Um, I'm back down here on the plot. I'm going to do a little bit. Um, main project for today, I know I said this last week, but I'm actually going to do it this week, is joining the two greenhouses together in order to make a bit of a brassica cage because that is one thing that I'm very conscious at the minute. These cabbages, sprouts and all the rest of it are very ready to be going out. So I want to get that one sorted today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to join the two greenhouses together so that it creates one big long greenhouse and I'm going to cover the whole thing in scaffold netting so that will keep away the pigeons and hopefully anything else that wants to eat them because everything wants to eat your brassicas. Um, it's just one of them things but uh, obviously we can take certain steps to avoid that. Um, the rest of the plot at the minute is just looking pretty groovy. Uh, I've just had a bit of a cut on the grass so some of the beds you'll see will be you know, a bit covered in grass clippings and all the rest of it. I don't mind too much, it's a bit of a mulch isn't it and it will uh, soon uh, rot down. I think another thing that I want to do today is do, 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 fix this greenhouse door would probably be a good start. Come on you little tinker. Um, we peas are looking about ready now. I'll say last night and the night before we've just had a, a right good cold snap. Um, I think the temperature dropped to about one degree. So I've had candles burning in here overnight and in the other two greenhouses so Hopefully that uh, has helped. Um, so yeah, the peas want to go out before they start uh, knotting into each other and anything else they can get their hands on. So when I say hands, I mean these little curly bits here because they, they, they'll wrap around and that's what actually uh, the peas hold on with and do all of their climbing. So you can see some of these are getting a bit long now. So they're well over time. But, oh, yeah, brassica cage. Now, the two styles of greenhouse that I've got here, they're both from the same manufacturer, thankfully. Um, which means that they should be fairly compatible with uh, regards to joining them together. I might have to drill a few holes and all the rest of it, but it uh, shouldn't be too much of a chore. i say the only one downside is one of them's got a base on it and the other one hasn't, so they're going to be different heights. I might try and sort that out with a bit of timber, though. Um, so, yes, hopefully everything will be, you know, good. As for a location for the brassica cage. I've had this area here covered up for uh, probably three or four months now. So hopefully under there I'll uncover a bit of it. Uh, that should be all nice and pale. I'll put some weed membrane down and then through there I'll just put some holes in. I should cut down on the weeding and uh, brassica's like quite compacted soil as well so if I dig it over it's just going to loosen it up. Um, so yeah that's, uh, that's the plan pretty much. Got a million and one other jobs to do but uh, yeah, that's about it for the moment. So I'm going to grab a few of my tools and I'm going to uh, try and get these two greenhouse frames mangled together somehow. Just play it by ear as I always do. Everything seems to work out alright in the end. So as you can see there's the first frame, just like held together loosely with a couple of bolts. Um, and then I'm going to look at, I'll have the end section there but then I'll extend it again further over that way. I'm going to try and get it positioned first, see where I want it. So I'm thinking about this as a fairly sort of rough position really. That's uh, fair, fair, set fairly far back from the other bed so hopefully it won't cast too much of a shadow in the evening sun. Um, so yes, I'm looking at that anyway. I'm just going to try and figure out a way to join the two and then raise them up as well now. Oh, 
one, there we go, that should sort of give you a, an idea on the sort of scale that I'm looking at for this thing. So there's a standard 8x6, and then that bar at the back represents another 8x6 at the back, so what's that going to be? That is going to be 16 by 6 which uh, should be big enough for uh, any brassicas, surely. One thing I've got to do now is start getting it bolted together properly, get it levelled off and that. I just wanted to do this to show you what I had in mind. Um, if you have a look, because these are both a similar design, you can see where that's the existing frame, and then I've just put a hole in, and then that's married up these two quite nicely. So that should be nice and strong. And that's going to sit down here at this end of the plot. Where the black plastic is there, that'd be lovely for a flower bed or something. Might just help disguise some of the, you know, the green netting in that. Because whilst it does a job, it's not always the most attractive, is it? If I can get some flowers growing up this side or something, it'll look lovely. So, uh, I'll crack on. Well there we go chaps, it's took me uh, a couple of minutes but you know, we've got the basic outline of it done now. As you can see, both gorilla, green, gorilla frames, <laughs> try and put a gorilla in there. Both greenhouse frames are now up, uh, the bases are about level even though the ground isn't. I've just had to like, you know, get creative with some wood underneath. Um, yeah, let's have a little look and see. So I've tried to square the two frames up as much as I can, so if you look down that edge there, they're not too, uh, you know, out of line. Everything looks pretty nice. Uh, I've had to go in with wood around the bases just to sort of raise the one without a base up to the height of the one with a base. That's no great hardship. I've got a bit of timber line around and a few tools, so... Yes, so we now have a brassica cage. I've taken out the uh, central bar so that effectively in the centre there you've got another doorway. Uh, so that was one continuous bar there, so I've just cut that and cut that, so now I've got a doorway in the centre, effectively uh, joining the two compartments together. And then I've gone for the door section at each end as well, so that I've got access through a door at each end, or not if I so choose. So when we stand uh, back at this end of the plot now, it's uh, a fairly imposing structure I suppose, but um, I think it's well suited, well placed. I'm uh, lucky enough to have extra room so that I can uh, put things like that in. And then I've still got where the black sheeting is around it, still loads of room for uh, loads of extra goodies. So that makes me happy. I've got to cover the blooming thing now. Ooh. So that's the next stage of the project is completed. That's some uh, that, uh, what is it, weed suppressing membrane put down in the bottom there. Now I'm well aware of the restrictions of this stuff. Obviously the roots can get through it and mat it up and it'll make a right mess. I'm sure there's a lot of you that spent many, many hours digging it out of an old plot or something like that. But I think in this case it's going to be a good idea, it'll keep down the weed in. Plus it'll let uh, a lot of rain through. So unluckily enough it wasn't quite wide enough for uh, two passes so I've had to do an extra one. And that'll create me path down the middle as well. So we're quite happy with that. Not the neatest job, it's a bit wrinkly in places, but aren't we all? Okay, so the next step in this little project then is this stuff here, green scaffold netting. Uh, I want to try and cover the entire cage there to keep out the pigeons, the rabbits, and the cabbage white butterflies, all of which have got a massively detrimental effect on me brassicas. Nobody wants detrimental brassicas, do they, surely? Um, so this is all stuff that I salvaged off that other chap's plot who... Uh, who abandoned it, so I'm hoping that there's enough to cover that. Um, it's quite big stuff, I think that's about three metre pieces. So, um, I shall see how far we get with it. Hey guys, I'm sorry, I've given up on that brassica cage idea, it was just becoming a right faff. Um, I couldn't get the whole thing level and when I started to put the meshing on as well it was ripping and it was all full of holes and everything so I just thought I wouldn't bother in the end. It's, um, you know, it was a good idea. And it... 
yeah so we've got that done as you can see now it kind of uh, dominates one end of the allotment which is uh, the one end of the allotment that uh, was not really being used where we had those black sheets so as you can see that is now two scaffolds two scaffolds two greenhouses joined together and then fully meshed in with uh, green scaffold netting I've just used uh, cable ties so not good for a plastic free greenhouse any of this greenhouse allotment I'm shattered guys I am shattered it's been uh, been a long day I th oh, thought I'd give myself three hours to get this done and um, yeah it's probably been more like five six which uh, I don't mind because the results is quite good is quite good are quite good um, so yeah let me take you on a little tour of my new brassica house oh. right this is the part that I like to call the uh, entrance foyer it's um, a spacious uh, area big enough for a six foot two man to stand up freely in uh, as they we pass through into the sorry I'm just talking absolute rubbish now but yeah as you can see it's not looking too bad but I am shattered oh, so oh, just gonna lay down right here so all I've got to do now is uh, I'll just cut holes into this weed fabric weed fabric and um, yeah, prance up my brassicas. I'm gonna have a kip. Well, once again, the shadows are growing low, so it's about time to pack up and go home. It's been quite a productive day, actually, as you can see from this beast behind you here. So I'm quite happy with that. Not much else to report on the plot, it's still quite early on in the year, so. You know, things are just as they are. The onions are looking alright, garlic's looking alright. Uh, built a little wigwam thing here for me peas when I put them out. I might do it tomorrow, bank holiday day. But uh, I don't know, it depends if I get down here or not. But uh, yeah, I'm very satisfied with today's work. Okay, boys and girls, that's me done for another day at the plot. Uh, I'm all packed up now, so I'm going to go home and get me tea. I think I've earned it today. Hoping to maybe get down again tomorrow, but um, you know, I don't want to make any promises to myself. Little and often, as they say. So I'm going to uh, run off now. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you all soon.